Hey y'all, so welcome back to Exclusive Tina where everything is exclusive. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, what's up y'all? So today I'm going to do a short little video on the four different stages of a lock journey. Um, for me, I feel like I've kind of been through the four stages maybe. Um, with my first lock journey, I was locked for seven months, but for some reason I felt like my hair was locking extremely fast. Like my hair literally dropped and I'm going to show y'all pictures. So it's going to be kind of like a comparison from when I started my starter locks with shoulder length hair and when I started my starter locks with a TWA, a teeny weeny afro. I barely. Um, but I'm definitely going to show y'all the differences. So... The four different stages are pretty much the starter lock phase, and then you have the budding phase, the teenage phase, and then like the adult phase, like where your hair is like really mature. Um, I feel like I was close. I, if I wasn't there, I was close to it. I can tell you that. But um, so the first phase is the starter lock phase. During this time, I'm telling y'all, do y'all research. If you're about to start your starter locks, do your research okay during this time you're also going to decide on your parting whether you want small locks larger locks traditional locks um sister locks micro locks it's definitely up to you but make sure that you know it kind of works with your hair and your hair density with me i did not do my research and i was definitely disappointed when my hair fully locked and that is probably one of the main reasons why I did comb out my locks because once my hair did fully lock, it wasn't giving me the volume that I wanted and that I expected. But I'll show y'all that later down the road. So in the first phase, your hair is going to be very neat and pristine and your parts are going to be so fresh looking and beautiful. This probably lasts for maybe like two weeks. But um, the first phase can last from one month to like three months or four months, just depending on your hair. Um... And how well you do take care of your hair. So your hair is definitely going to transform from the starter light phase to the budding phase. So the budding phase is around maybe like three to six months. So for me, this was my favorite phase ever in my first life journey. <laughs> so like... It was giving me volume and that's what I really wanted from my locks. Like I really did enjoy this phase. Like you can see like I was wearing my hair out um, so much. Like I was getting compliments on my hair and everything. So I really did enjoy that. So in this lock journey it was a little bit more tough just because my hair was short. And I'm still like dealing with budding. So... My hair isn't fully locked yet, but as you can tell, it's getting there. So, I do feel like I'm transitioning from the budding phase to the teenage phase. So, that is the third phase. The teenage stage is when your hair absolutely does the opposite of everything you say, okay? Your hair is going to have a mind of its own. I feel like my hair has a mind of... <laughs> my hair right now has a mind of its own, like... I had to put these up because I just feel like I'm just in such an awkward phase. But, um, I'm trying to get through it. But in the teenage phase, you're going to start seeing less of your... The two-strand twist isn't going to be as defined. You're not going to see coils as much. Um, your coils are going to start expanding. And that really happens in the budding stage. You're not going to see, like, a fresh coil or a fresh two-strand twist in the teenage stage. So, the teenage stage is when I really start started to see, like, my locks compacting. And I didn't like it. Because, like I said, I don't really have the thickest hair in the world. But I could tell that my locks weren't going to be how I wanted them to be. So, this is what my hair looked like in my first lock journey. And this is what my hair looks like now. I feel like I'm transitioning into the teenage stage and then we have the last phase that we have is the adult phase in the mature phase so this was like the phase where i realized that my hair was fully locked like your hair is fully dense you don't have as much frizziness and for me my retwist lasts way longer than it did 
any months before. Um, this is what my hair looked like for my first lock journey. And I feel like I was transitioning from the teenage phase to the adult phase because my hair, like I said, was locked. Like, it, you can definitely tell a difference from the first day I locked my hair to the third month I locked my hair to the seventh month I locked my hair. So my hair was completely locked and this was when I realized that I messed up because my hair just wasn't falling how I wanted to in my face because once my locks were dense it was just like I'm not feeling them I was feeling them but like I wasn't in love with them okay and I really do want to be in love with my hair but this set is the set okay we're not going we're not going no more <laughs> I took my time with this set y'all this is the set for me but those are the four different phases I hope this video also helps you kind of see like what you're gonna go through and also how everybody's lock journey is gonna be different because my I don't want to tell y'all this but I've had like three lock journeys before this one and every time it's been different okay so I should do a video on that but that's gonna be a long video but I might do a video but it just shows you how different like a lock journey can be even if you do start your own lock journey two or three times um but that is the end of this video make sure you like comment subscribe also if you have any video suggestions for me it would really be appreciated like y'all just don't understand how much I think about making videos but I don't know like what to make them about like I think I might vlog I might do a vlog but I don't know if like my life is interesting for a vlog but we'll see I might do a vlog one day I don't know but yes I do have a wig video I need to do because somebody asked for that so just be on the lookout for some videos I'm trying y'all my goal is to reach 1k subscribers by the end of this year so I need to put some work in but yeah that's all I have for y'all and I'll see y'all next time bye